Start your microscope session by turning on the lamp. Ideally, the lamp is set to the camera icon position if an icon is on your microscope. Set objective to 10x if possible. If the lamp is too bright or too dark, move neutral density filters in or out of the light path. Here this is done by pressing a bar. On your microscope you may need to use a slider or some other method. If you don't have neutral density filters, adjust by hand. Keep illumination level at the same levels for the remainder of steps. Find your desired area of the sample and focus. Here's what you'll see on the microscope. Once focused, turn the dial for what is called the field diaphragm, located under the condenser on this microscope. Here's what you'll see on the microscope. Next, turn the knob of the condenser to focus the shadow image of the field diaphragm blades. Here's what you'll see on the microscope. Finally, if the field diaphragm blades are not centered, use the knurled knobs to center the shadow image. Here's what you'll see on the microscope. Open the dial for the field diaphragm. After it's open, here's what you'll see. Finally, remove the eyepiece from the microscope and look through it like you're looking at a television screen. Turn the condenser aperture dial or use a lever to open and close the aperture. Here's what you'll see when looking into the eyepiece chamber. Close the aperture until it allows 80 to 90 percent of the image area through, as seen here. Put the eyepiece back into its chamber. In your camera software, it's critical that you have a histogram showing if it's available. This is the only way you will know if you have overexposed. This image looks correctly exposed, but the red line extends beyond the maximum value in the dynamic range. Set exposure, here named shutter, until all values are within the dynamic range. You can also use an auto function for the first image. Next, on the microscope, move your specimen away from the field of view to a white area. Here's how it looks on the microscope. In the camera software, find the function for white balancing. You may have to check the camera help files. Here it's in the color tab. Click on the white balance button. Here you do not check the auto button or the white balance will be changed for each picture and white balance will likely be inconsistent. Set this once and do not reset. When taking pictures, you will likely change objectives and the image will get darker or brighter. In the camera software, when you change objectives, here you can see the image getting darker. Rather than turn up illumination on the microscope, focus and then adjust the exposure instead. Again, adjust exposure here using the shutter slider and adjust until red, green, and blue lines extend to max values but not extending beyond the maximum value for the x-axis. Be sure to save all images as TIFF files or in the manufacturer's format instead of JPEG files. JPEG files experience image degradation.